competitive Pokemon lore. In Generation 8, the mechanic of Dynamax was introduced, and it quickly became one of the most controversial mechanics ever put into a Pokemon game, due to it effectively changing the pacing and thought process put into VGC matches entirely. As a byproduct of this mechanic, many Pokemon fell from grace or rose to prominence depending on how well they utilized or countered Dynamax. One of the most iconic and powerful VGC Pokemon ever seen is Xerneas, but it unfortunately did not fare well in Generation 8 due to a combination of factors, but the most important of which being Dynamax. Xerneas is a Pokemon known for its simple yet effective strategy of holding a Power Herb and using Geomancy next to a support Pokemon to allow it to safely gain plus 2 in its special attack, special defense, and speed in a single turn. From that point on, Xerneas was capable of 1 or 2 hit KOing most everything in the game due to its Fairy Aura boosted Moonblasts or Dazzling Gleams. Dynamax made this less effective in many ways. Due to Dynamax Pokemon being immune to flinch, Xerneas found it harder to fake out a Pokemon that would target it during its Geomancy turn where before a partner Incineroar could fake out a strong Seal-type Pokemon like Solgaleo or Kartana, that Pokemon could now just Dynamax and one-shot the Xerneas with a max Steel Spike. The HP buff from Dynamax also caused Xerneas' attacks to not be quite as potent as they used to be. Due to the fact that a Pokemon could double its health at any time to tank a Moonblast and KO the Xerneas, while its partner Pokemon would usually just protect. While hypothetically Xerneas could be an effective Dynamax user, it struggles in this department as well. Xerneas doesn't hit nearly hard enough to justify running it without a boost from its Geomancy, which can't be used while Xerneas is Dynamaxed, therefore meaning that in order to Dynamax Xerneas and get the most bang for your buck, you would need to Geomancy first, which is a risk. The defensive benefits of Dynamax are also nullified due to the best Pokemon in the game being a 170 base power Fairy Steel type whose signature move deals double Steel type damage on a targeted Dynamax Pokemon. As you could probably assume, Xerneas isn't likely to tank this hit. Essentially, Xerneas is a victim of the metagame moving in a direction it simply couldn't imitate or make up for with other qualities. While Xerneas is still usable, it is a shell of its former self, which only really saw heavy usage in the Series 10 metagame, which banned Dynamaxing entirely. Be sure to subscribe for more VGC videos, and check out my Twitch channel to watch me battle live.